Hi, this is Ingrid Carlson, and welcome to Caratuti, a place for paper crafting, art, journaling, um, and all in between. If you love a flair for vintage, then this is the place for you. Today, we are going to look for junk journal supplies at Dollar Tree. One of my tips that I've shared with you guys is to start on one end of the store. So here we will start with the greeting cards. You can find some beautiful prints, especially florals, and don't worry if it says like, please join us or thank you. You can just cover that with a little cutout circle or some ephemera. You can even cut out a little piece of paper and write your own sentiment. These doilies are a great addition. They add a soft, whimsical look to any junk journal, and they are a must-have in my stash. One thing that caught my eye on this day was these bags. They are so cute. They're little treat bags, but I think that they would look super cute in a junk journal, and I actually picked one up. Can you guess what color I picked out? The gift bags are a great place for junk journaling. You can actually make a junk journal using a gift bag as a cover. Have you guys seen that? If that's something that you'd like to see, drop a comment down below and I'll make a video on it. I thought these little rhinestones were really cute and when I picked them up, I noticed that it had its own glue and that's for $1.25. I think that's a pretty good deal. And that's if you don't mind adding a little bulkiness to your journal or to any project, especially if you're paper crafting, I think that, you know, 3D is a must have. Don't walk past the kids school aisle just yet because you can find some hidden gems in here. One of the items that caught my eye as I was walking by were these flashcards. And especially the ones that are more simple and don't have a lot of different characters, unless you're doing a themed journal. But I thought these were great. Um, and so I opened up the um, package to see what they look like. And although they have a tiny bit of a sheen to them, I think that they would be great if you coffee or tea dyed them or added distressing to them and some sewing, I think that would be really cute. These were also, I think, a must have with words on both sides. So I think the more simple, the better. I think that some of the stationary supplies are a miss, but you can't go wrong with these Sharpies and these mechanical pencils are one of my favorites to write with. The ones in the top corner here look like actual wooden pencils, but they're mechanical and I thought those would be cute. I'm not sure how they write, but aesthetically, I thought they're adorable. In my last video, I did not cover the book section, but I think that it is a definite gem for anyone doing any kind of book crafts or junk journaling you've got to see past the covers so you can either alter the book like i've done in the past or you can take out all of the guts of the book so all the pages and use just the cover as your a new cover where you put new signatures in now if you want something that's a little thicker than let's say that book that i'm showing here then you're just going to want to add your own spine to the side that's another project that maybe we can work on i'm curious to see what you guys would like to see next so make sure that you reply down below one of the things that i look for when picking out a book is the size and so the smaller the size the more manageable the book can be and i think especially if you're beginning out in journaling i would suggest going with smaller than larger sometimes the larger books are a little daunting to take on and don't skip the coloring book section it's not just for little kids some of these adult coloring books would make beautiful pages in your book The kitchen section has a plethora of things that you can buy for your home, but don't pass up these mats. 
they would make a great cover for a junk journal. And what I like most about them is that they are soft to the touch. On most days, if I am walking into a Dollar Tree, this is maybe the only place that I look. It is kind of a hidden gem. It's off to the side and usually in front of the registers, but you can find some really cute things like these pouches, those gem pens, but my number one thing to look for are blank notebooks. And I've shown in my Instagram how I use blank notebooks, either for just drawing practice, just sketching out faces or making notes, or even a brain dump. I think you cannot go wrong with them. Most of them are pretty good quality. I just look for the ones that aren't lined. Heading back over to the craft section, I spotted this chalkboard paint and right next to it were the markers that you can use, the paint markers. And I think that would be an awesome idea for a junk journal cover. This location has to be one of my favorites that I've ever been into. Look how cute these beads are to add a charm or dangle. Their craft section was completely stocked. My local one does not look like this. And I'm kind of kicking myself right now because I walked away without getting any of these paints and they are beautiful as well as these paint brushes probably the best quality looking ones that i've seen at a dollar tree but wait until you see these paints these colors are fabulous they've got sparkles and then this the hot pinks and oranges ah oh, so pretty i can't believe i forgot to get one maybe next time i'm in town i can look for them and let you guys know what the quality is like and here are some more beads. I mean, I'm telling you, this place was completely stocked. It was a beautiful store. It was completely spotless, probably the cleanest store that I've ever been into. So Georgia, you're doing a great job. There was a time when I was paper crafting and I was completely obsessed with alpha stickers. The worst part was that there were a lot that did not get used because I didn't want to run out, um, but they are a great staple. And I'm not sure if I'm a barracuda, but <laughs> this shiny definitely caught my eye and I thought these were really cute. Again, I wanted to mention, make sure you're looking through the whole stack because there's different ones in the back, not just what they're showing out in the front, and you might miss out on a gem. If you've never done watercoloring and you wanna try out like maybe adding some plopping of color on your pages, I thought this was a really great set for $1.25. It only has primary colors, but you can always mix those. And if you don't know how, watch my previous videos and I'll show you a little bit about color mixing and you can come up with some really pretty colors. Of course, these are a little chalky because they're meant for kids, but um, you know, if it's something that you're thinking about and you don't want to invest in a watercolor set, this is a great alternative. Dollar Tree is a good place to pick up some adhesives, whether it's this Eileen's Tacky Glue or even these Velcro dots. Sometimes you can even find um, glue dots. All right, I know you're gonna think I'm crazy for going to the beauty aisle, but don't miss this one. Look at this gem. So you can find a nail file, which you can use to distress your edges. Also this like foot filing thing. Um, I have a tool that I paid a lot more than $1.25 to distress my paper. And so don't do that. Instead, go to Dollar Tree. Don't skip the makeup brushes either because these are great tools for blending your distress stains and your inks. And I think there's a couple companies that sell these for a lot more than that, and they are specifically for that purpose. This is probably my favorite tip of the whole video, and it's using this paper tape. It adds a lot of texture and dimension to your pages, as well as takes color on really well, whether that's watercoloring, distress stains, or even chalk pastels.
mark making tools for $15 when you can come to Dollar Tree and look at the plethora of things that you can use to add marks to your pages. These balls on um, this comb I think would be really awesome. Do you love organizational containers? <laughs> I do. And I will show you in another video how I use these. These are my favorite. They have, this store in particular had three different colors. My store only has the blue. And I love them because those lids lock into place so you can place items in there without worrying if it's going to open up on you. In conclusion, I would suggest you go to your nearest Dollar Tree and check out what they have. Thanks for watching.